Well, that was beautiful. Welcome to Final Fantasy XIII. The next game in a series of this marathon. I always love doing these intros and having the game have its intro cinematic and start and get us into this, really. But I'm just going to be moving into this and make sure it doesn't throw me into the intro cinematic again. I don't really have a lot of preamble for this game. The most I have is I'm playing the Steam version of this. I know next to nothing about these three games. Uh, this, Lightning Returns, and the second one. The only thing I know, really, is that the second one is regarded as one of the best Final Fantasy stories. And these three games are actually have one of the best stories across the, actually, the broad term of Final Fantasy in general. That's all I know. Everything else about this is purely gonna be me jumping into this and, and you know, with no expectations. I know about lightning, and that's about it. Um, FF10, I had some idea of what was gonna happen because of how mainstream that game is new, but about, about, about the Macalania cutscene, I knew some plot points in that, but not everything. And this is gonna be entirely blind, to be honest. I don't even know what the combat's gonna be like. I am going into this as blind as I could be. I could have researched beforehand, but I decided to not do that so I could have the utmost reaction to this game. I am very excited because that intro cinematic was great and I know people don't have high high um, love for this game. I wanna go in this as blind as I can, to be honest. I know that 15 was apparently gonna be a tie into this to this universe so we'll see let's play this though and find out how it is i'm not playing this easy mode yes yeah, selected normal mode for battles to change difficulty level at any time oh thank god press e to open the bar menu and then select settings for uh, begin playing in normal mode. no because why is it doing it in, in, in keyboard bindings uh inverted y axis how about we just do standard? Okay, I'm gonna turn all this on. That's good to know. Speaker names. I'm gonna display the speaker name. Speaker names above to so join the cutscenes. Um, yeah, that could be quite nice actually. We'll see how it is. We'll turn it off. It's bad, but bad difficulty normal. Yes, battle speed normal. Yes, auto battle. Defeat battle command. Auto battle. Target selection from list. Yeah, okay. Uh, battle help. Yeah, yeah, can you do it in controller, please? I'm using controller. <laughs> That's how this game was made, I'm pretty sure. It was made for controller. Staff credits. Um, view middleware license information. Ah, yes. I'm sure you all want to hear about that in this game. <laughs> no, I'm not going to be doing that. Let's just jump into this, shall we? And I'll change the difficulty whenever I want to, because apparently you can do that in this game. Is it going to play the intro cinematic again? I, oh, I always fall into this trap of these games where I'm like, I'll let the intro play out and then it plays out again. I don't think so, actually. I think this is new. The 13 days after we awoke... Oh, fucking 13 the days. <laughs> of the end. You know, it, they kind of vote themselves into a corner of this game because 13 is the unlucky number, so... It was always going to be... You know, seen as bad, and there was always going to be karma behind it. No, I don't believe in that sort of stuff, but yeah. So, the only thing I really know about the world itself is this, this entire game is set on a floating island in the sky. I don't know if it adds, if it's going to be like Skyward Sword, where is this going to be? Is this what the actual game's going to look like, by the way? Because these cinematics are beautiful. <laughs> Like, even better than tens, which makes sense, considering how this game came out in 2009. Now it's out of 15, it's probably the newest Final Fantasy game in this Please. marathon we're going to be playing. Quiet. <gasps> Best of luck. Sans. Well, we know who these characters are now. The fuck? She did it! Oh, they're prisoners, I think. This is a prisoner co uh, convoy. 
Oh! He is lightning. Oh, guns? We don't have gunplay in this game, apparently? Oh, you're just killing people. You alright? I'm not LSE. L LSE? Well, Bud! Chocobo! The best character? <laughs> He's got a chocobo in his hand. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why you're bringing that poor Joker girl on this deadly heist mission, apparently, but oh God, look how fast she is. This is what Smith's event wanted to be. <laughs> I like his, like, nest hair. It's great. Good for them. That voice sounds familiar. Like Midgar? Or like coffin the undercity of Midgar if Shinra got their way, I guess. Give me that. What the fuck? <laughs> I am the only one who can shoot rocket launchers. Also, this is actually one of the few Final Fantasy games where the main character is a girl, which is like one. I think this and six. And I like that. I like I enjoy. Yeah, we've like created a whole retribution, haven't we? Look at this. Rebellion is made in a moment, I guess. What the hell? Tower defense dogs? Okay, me meta like if we I have no idea what's happening right now, but I'm all down for this. It's awesome. It's so no there's so much noise going on right now. Are the chamber on? I would assume so, right? I like these, like, meta metallic uh, summoned beasts that they've, like, spawned in. Oh, I didn't read the... I didn't hear what you said first. Here we go. Actual in-game cutscenes now. Still look really good. <laughs> I mean, it, it came out in 2009, to be fair. But, yeah, it looks fucking amazing. Yay, good graphics! <laughs> Actual character facial animations. Oh, I've missed you so much. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Let's be rational now! No, no, let's be turn based now. It's what you're meant to say. Oh, I've also heard the music in this game is is awesome. It's really good. And there's a lot of different genres they incorporate, similar to FF14. And yeah, let's do this. Active time battle tutorial! Okay. This story explains the basics of combat. Yeah, I, wanna, I don't know how the combat works this game. Oh, also, controller has stopped working again. Time flows continuously throughout battle. Watch as your ATB gauge slowly charges. Okay. So similar to... Um, actually, no. Different to a lot of other games I've played in the series so far. Uh, the characters perform actions by expending charges. ATB gauge segments. Actions which they perform depend on the commands you select. You can input entire strings of commands and unleash them all at once. Select Autobad, queue up a set of commands tailored to your situation. The abilities to specify individual ability commands as you see fit. Okay, so you can have like an auto battle thing? Okay, interesting. Move the cursor or bad and set A to select it. Two attack systems have just been placed in your command queue. As you learn new abilities, you'll also use other commands other than attack. It'll also become possible to create longer streams of commands. Next, you need to choose a target of your attack. When fighting mobile enemies, select your target using that and then select A to confirm it. You only face one enemy this time, so the choice is simple. Press A to confirm your target and you will execute your two attacks commands immediately. Once you finish your attacks, enter more commands and continue fighting until you defeat the enemy. Now that you will only be able to control the attacks of lightning, Sars will fire in his own, supporting her as he deems fit best. Is this going to be for the entire game, or just now? I don't know if there's like a party system in this game, but if if, if Saz and other party members are AI based, that actually makes it easier for me to be honest, but I don't know. I guess that, that's how it's going to work. Good luck from here on out, how, how you fight is up to you. I guess we'll do all attacks then. Um, okay, abilities. Blitz deals physical damage to target in range. Okay, so it is actual target plans right now. I don't know what that gauge is to the right. Yeah, 
auto attack. So auto attack is like, okay, I thought it was like, he just uses all my attacks, but it's not. It's queuing up attacks for the HP game, okay. That was easy. Oh, no, not anymore though. Yeah, we need to do more than fall back. I think he's about to destroy the train. <laughs> Not so tough now, huh? <laughs> you spoke too soon, buddy. Hey, that wasn't like a chow now, all right? Hey! Uh, time to go. Yeah, it's time to go. It's fine, we're anime. We don't want to die and fall off. <laughs> Is he okay? <laughs> <laughs> Why is this the best character? <laughs> yeah! Chocobo did it too! Oh my god, it's, it's the best thing in the world. Won't give up. I don't know what it is. I don't know how it's so small. I mean, Chocobo's, I guess, were that small at one point, right? Okay, you are here now with me. Uh, I guess I'm gonna all about, right? Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Uh, what's happening? Ow! That was very rude of you, sir. Uh, I'm gonna do, um, I think Blitz. Blitz? Oh, it's two commands. Okay, understood. Or battle. I'm taking a lot of damage here. Uh, might need to heal in a minute if I have any healing items. I don't know what that gate is above him. I don't know what that percentage gate is. It, it looks scary, but he hasn't done anything with it yet. Oh no. No! Oh god, don't do that. No, 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 we need this item. Okay, potion on yourself. There we go. I don't know if I can defend against these, these attacks, but yeah, there we go, done. Okay. We did it! Okay, target time, initiative bonus, battle duration, 1 minute and 22 seconds, points per battle, 191. Oh, I get vanked. Oh, that's gonna be bad. I apologize for any future vankings. <laughs> oh, nice. Six potions. You used one of them, so we got it back and also well, a few more as well. There he goes. You really should work your security robots here, and if they die from just two people, they're not very good, are they? Well, that we don't know how powerful these two are, to be fair. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, goodness. Ooh. Well, you don't have a nest we on your hair. It just goes inside your hair, I guess? I thought he had like a little like, bird nest on top of his head, but I guess that makes more sense, actually. This is some hair. That's a cool sword. Aren't Collapsible. Protect civilians, soldier. I mean, you are a sanctum, aren't you? What are you doing trying to stop the purge? Why don't you tell me that? I was a soldier. Hmm. Hey, where do you think you're going? I mean, she's called lightning, and I'm expecting that that means she was a soldier. Man. <laughs> I want to follow this character. Chocobo, we just can't catch a break, can you we? You called it Chocobo. Yeah, that's a good question. Where? Hanging edge the restricted zone. Oh yeah, there are a lot of hanging things around here, so that does make sense. It's a nice place to hang out, to be honest. <laughs> oh, wow, that's really pretty, isn't it? Right, instrument of fate. I've already got an achievement, okay. Uh, what's this achievement for, though, game? To take the first steps towards challenging an unjust fate. Okay, game. No. You, you give me a tutorial on how to use a camera game. Okay. You possess an advanced digital diary known as a dialogue that ultimately streams information deemed permanent. Whenever the dialogue records a new entry, a, novice, a notice will appear in the upper left corner of the, de of the screen. To peruse entries, wow, this is a lot of big words, game. Press Y to open the main menu and then select data log. You sure we can get through here? Yeah, he's as wild I ever want to have play of inverted controls game. Oh, we've all we'll said that that camera is very slow. Uh, I would like to speed it up, please. I'm allowed to anyway. Uh, no, I'm not allowed to speed it up. Okay, well that's gonna be something I'm gonna have to get used to, unfortunately. 
Maybe there's like a thing in a, a mod I can download to do that maybe. I'll have a look after this. But here we have it. We have Lightning and Maz, I think his name was. Oh, Saz. Oh, like plays like a video. Is this why like this game was 50 gigabytes? Like I was, it was a lot bigger than I was expecting it to be, but I guess it counts as a modern game. So yeah. Oh, yeah, the, the, the two are. Look at these two. Uh, resistances. Okay, so. Where does better overall? <laughs> I mean, that makes sense, to be fair. He uses a gun, we use a saber. Very good. What abilities? We had we had a blitz, didn't we? Yeah, blitz. Oh, it's so nice to use a construct control screen that isn't. That makes B cancel and A confirm. Because Final Fantasy X reversed it. Oh, it's, it's actual Christmas. Okay, what about equipment? <gasps> Optimize! That's my favorite word in these games. I don't have to do any inventory management. I've been mean, there well, but we'll see how good it is, that system. <laughs> yeah, I know what a potion is. A weapon new to the Sanctum Army, this gun blade is only issued to highly trained soldiers, of course it's a gun blade. Like I think after FF8 they made everything a gun blade, at least as much stuff as they could. Uh, these weapons are worn by civilian pilots for the purpose of self-defense in case of emergency landings in the wilderness. Oh, we got some juicy little lore here, do we? Uh, unicorn Mart. An electric pass granted access to the Unicorn Mart retail network. A digital diary that autonomously streams potentially useful information. Lightning's birthday present, a survival knife. I wonder if she's got a military back background. A personal gravity control device. Okay. She just has that, does she? Oh, so it doesn't update until you look at it all and then leave. Okay. Map. Oh, yeah. So something else I will point out is... This beginning part of this game is going to be very linear, from what I've heard. They take you down to a lot of very long corridors. It's like the only joke I hear about Final Fantasy XIII. Whenever you see a long corridor in a Final Fantasy game, it's like, ah, they must have been inspired by this game. But no, um, it's apparently a lot for a lot for people. I'm, I'm fine of it. Like, I don't really mind it. But we'll see how it is, because I do remember in FF15 when it became very linear, I got a little bit annoyed. <laughs> but that was also the game not being good, so. Chapter 1. Well, at least we know how many chapters there are now. The Fires of Fate? Oh, okay. Um, actual lore. Oh my god, okay. Lightning and Saz are held aboard a military purse train, along with a group of civilians destined for exile. In stark contrast to the uncertain and despairing people around her, Lightning appears determined and focused. She seizes upon an instant of in in inattention to disable a guard, and her impressive display inspires Saz and her other civilians to take up arms against the soldiers. Oh. After clashing with army forces, the train crashes to a halt in the war-torn district known as the Hanging Edge. Saz attempts to figure out Lightning's angle, but she shows little desire to share. The former soldier throws herself into battle without the slightest hint of hesitation. What could be driving her? I don't know. Also, that noise that's playing right now, I was wondering what it was. That's the same sound as the cancel button in FF14. That's why I was like, I've heard this a million times before. Look <laughs> how good! I know that they, you can choose the sound effects that you have in FO14 to resemble ones from, from the other games of the series, and I guess this is one of them here. Primers, okay, gameplay basics. Uh, holy shit. Okay. Uh, very good, saving. Okay, yeah, as you explore your environs, you will sometimes encounter save stations. Oh, you and press A when I switch and press A to save the progress. Okay, saving, very good. Shopping. Oh, so it's like in a 7 remake where you go to the vending machine. Okay, so I understand. The mini map with a colon. With a, is it not colon? Yeah, it's a colon. Uh, okay, it's the position of the uh, online area has some dirt or flash in warning. 
It also shows when it has been located, allowing you to quickly reorientate yourself and ask the battle. The dog will have to win the at any time, but talk about his blades to be pressed back. Every game should have that! Auto talk. <laughs> Auto talk! I wonder if you encounter what's one you often be spoken to or over here everything occur automatically and do not require any action on your part. A few interconversations require a burn press to initiate. What was this way when you approach the person and question this? Is a tutorial? They need to tell you this? So basically what the game is saying, if you talk to someone, you will get dialogue. Okay. In many cases, okay, it's the same as Zelda, I assume. Yeah, yeah. Also jump over and also and then do you want to see must speak in order to operate a device or of course something important happen. Okay. Uh when you push an open chest or you know, this indicate the actual will open. Oh my god, really? What Whoa Okay This is a this is a tutorial and a half. <laughs> you can press start anytime you want a cutscene to skip You can skip cutscenes? What the fuck? Okay, yeah, I, want, I do want to see want to see battle results. Into influence, way to which you completely address all determinants of rating, rating to influence battles, which is spoils often. Oh god. I have to be good to get good rewards. For each second you undercut the enemy's time, you. You undercut the target time, you score increases by the battle's PPS, points per second value. The score in turn determines your rating. Initiating combat with a preemptive strike provides an initiative bonus pre applied as an extension to the target time. How do we get a preemptive strike then? Do we like have to hit it before it appears? That's something I want to know. Does this game have random encounters? I don't know that. Area maps. Ooh, enemy intel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like lore. Oh, there's so much lore here. Look, oh my god. Yeah. Look at this thing. I don't think okay, it's not actual lore, but okay. Nice, okay. I'm gonna have to get over that noise because it keeps like throwing me into an FF14 like spy. Oh, hello. Hey, how's it going? I guess I'll leave you then. Oh, yeah, look at this thing. Oh, ABS, always be saving, I guess. <gasps> Yeah, so this game has a PS3 save style, which is why it looks very similar to it. But there we go. It's a mess is what this is. I mean, I would call it rebellion. Uh, your help is our business. Our expert pharmacists are standing by day and night to send you whatever you need, whenever you need it. Okay. Ha! <laughs> if I had money, I could buy that, but I don't, so... Yeah, I'll just sell my weapons. No. <laughs> How else am I gonna hit stuff? <laughs> I like this menu, like it actually shows all the different things you would actually get on a shop. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, so this game has a pretty easy shop system. I do appreciate that. Uh, many and various enemies sort the roads that you must travel. Upon entering an enemy's detection radius, the mini-map in the upper right corner of the screen will flash in warning. Coming into contact with any enemy will initiate a battle. There are no random encounters. Oh! Dialogue has been updated. Okay. Oh, it's just, well, I just got. Okay, understood. Oh shit! Ah! You don't. So you don't see anything. I'm not. I'm not lightning. I'm not a rebellion member. Okay, we're not going to sleep past this guys. I don't think. Okay. Uh, let's go for the first one. Nice. And then the second one. I think we get our HP back after battle too. Huh. It's great. Nice. Grand score. Nothing. Oh. Thanks, game. What is this? What do you suppose this is? I don't know. <laughs> You're very shocked. I uh, delayed reaction to this. Now? Oh, is this what, you know, in the cutscene it showed that that thing summoned people. It's like what they're using tower defenses to like get turrets and stuff to appear. I guess, oh, here we go, oh, the, the loathsome trigger command. 
But that was really hard to work out. I wouldn't have known how to do that if I didn't get a tutorial for it. Nice. I like how dynamic the combat is in this. Like it, it, the camera's a little bit weird. Like, I kind of understand why I did that, but yeah, it, it's not too bad to be honest. Nice. Nothing. I mean, I think it's better to get everything from all the battles. Oh yeah. Hey, hi guys. How's it going? Uh, I guess I'll just go for all of you. Oh, I'm going for the guy at the back. Nice. I mean, I think they're all the same person, but sure. Ow! Mood. No blitz. Oh, yeah. I mean, I hate the other guy too, somehow. Yeah, I'm sure the game will at some point explain that top right thing, but for now I don't know what it is. But there you go, done. We got a Phoenix out, nice! I like that the battles are so short we don't get to the good part in the music. I mean, yeah, what do you expect this to become? Do you want us to? Whoa. Okay, what is that thing? A node? Is this their uh, idea of defenses? Oh, I thought this was um, uh, an enemy. Oh, no, it was a friend. Give me a chest, thanks. See, I shouldn't judge everything because I could actually give you good stuff at the end. Anyway, here's lightning in this city. Thumbnail material? Probably not. I don't know. Oh, we can we can recreate the um, me, FF7 yeah. intro. What are you talking about? I'm not ignoring you. Hi. I'm looking at you right now. If you want to have a chat, we can have a lovely little chat, but I like, don't. I think this is the best time for that, so let's get out of here. <laughs> oh, speaking of. Have you tried stealth? Lightning. Not wanting to get purged, I get. But taking on trained soldiers? Uh, what else are we gonna do? To die than get sent to pulse. It's hell. Pulse? Yeah, well hell's not sounding too bad. Cause this place ain't exactly paradise. Domesticated peacekeepers. Nothing to worry about. Domesticated Maybe peacekeepers, as opposed to non-domesticated hey, peacekeepers. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> doggies! They must die! Oh, I gotta get doggies. Oh, he just suggested you use blitz. Oh, I see. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if that aspect attack actually does hit them, but it's good. Well, no, now I can't use it anymore, so I guess it was just for that one guy. Oh, I don't know what we did there, but we did something. But what? I don't. Uh, good. You did it. Good job, Lightning. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> the, the, the game like flashed for like two seconds. Two potions. Lovely. So I like that this game has just gone for the let's make a really noisy background in the first area so that the player has something to look at while they run down these corridors. I don't really blame them to be fair. I wonder how many save points I can create in this game. I hope a lot. It's gonna be like five or something, isn't it? Yeah, you must be real nice from up there. Oh shit, who are you? Ah, uh, you don't see anything, you don't see- Oh, wow, shit. <laughs> Alright, auto battle. Die, asshole! You can die, it's gonna be painful for you, maybe. Maybe not, though. I don't know why I'm speaking in an accent right now, but yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing! No, they're gonna die, that's what's gonna happen here. Um, Saz, I'm not doing anything to help you, to be honest. Since Saz is such a fun fantasy name. Oh, don't, don't kill him. Come on. Don't go in for Saz. No. Stop. 
Nah, nah, why? <laughs> the music gets so good and it happens so late. Iron Bangle? Okay, hold on, what is this? <laughs> hey! Uh, passive 50 HP. Yeah, I have that. And I'm gonna have it, not, not Saz here. Look at him! <laughs> it's fuck! Oh yeah, we got new enemy stuff, didn't we? We got soldiers! Psycon Enforcer. Enforcer. Vulnerabilities. So what kind of elements do we have? We have fire. Ice, lightning, water, wind, earth, light, that sword, and question mark. I don't know what those are. <laughs> we got this boy, and then we got this boy. Oh, I was born in the air! Razor claw. Oh, little doggos, yeah. Oh, they're weak to fire and ice, are they? Well, that's good to know. I'm never going to remember that, considering how many different enemies there have been so far, but yeah. It's good to know. This game is beautiful so far, by the way. It looks really good. In terms of presentation, there's, you know, one of the only things you can be asked for in these sorts of games. Hi, right, how's it going? You're just watching everyone die. Yeah, I know. It's all my fault. I mean, we are kind of running away and we are fighting them as well. They are in, in a, doing an act of self-defense, but they are also evil, I agree. Oh, Blitz, okay. Nice, easy battle. Gotta give me a harder fight game, that wasn't too bad. Oh. Huh? huh? Preemptive strike. Oh yeah. <laughs> We're just saying here, are we? Okay. Rebels. So much for the element of surprise. We're all gonna try and do a preemptive strike, lightning, but I guess not. Item music tutorial. Okay. Yeah. Use item. Yeah, I know about how potions. Oh, game of what are you used to before? Like in the first battle, it was really difficult. I owe you. They work on all allies too. Uh, here's a prize: not just specify target. Use items as a free action, so you will cover HP immediately without spending any charge for your AP age. Depends on the thing. Just use a potion whenever you guys are still standing. It's game over. And we manage to scale lightning. Okay, good. That is good to know. Right, let's go for this guy first. I don't know what that gauge is, but I'm worried about it. Oh, stagger gauge! Oh! Yeah, you can't attack now, can you? Understood, okay. That's how that works, okay. <laughs> this guy is just like standing here in grief over what's happening. Oh shit, okay, that's not good. Damn. At least it wasn't us. Well, I'll say that. There's no time. Then what do you suggest we do? Quiet. Yeah, we'd be quiet. What are we gonna do, Lightning? What? Oh yeah, you got anti cap, don't you? What are we doing, Saz? Let go. Leave me alone. Get off. Oh my god, okay. Oh, you broke it. I was gonna abandon you and everything. I think Lightning Gandhi was going to abandon this person. Looks that way. I mean, I guess she wanted to look after herself. I don't. I don't know her background, so I can't be like you know, she made the wrong decision there. I don't know. You leave this to me. Oh, they are log uh, updated. Okay. Chipped fang. A fang missing its tip. 
Octopus has bitten off more than it can chew. Ah, very clever game. Oh, new chapter, Fields of War. Suspect citizens of Cocoon are wrenched from their tranquil existence and friend of exiles of the world of Pulse. The purge has begun. The land below us said the crawl of unknown perils and terrified civilians begin to rebel against the purge. A revolt also occurs on the train transporting, um, wait, what's the direction from the Okay, revolt also occurs on a train transporting purge deportees as lightning battles against the guards galvanize the other prisoners into action. The train coming to a halt in the district in the district of the Hanging Edge, now a hellish war zone where soldiers open fire indiscriminately upon civilians. Lightning makes her way through the middle of the conflict, all but ignoring her uninvited companion Saz. She seems determined to press onwards, even when the past before her is destroyed by military strikes. Yeah, she seems determined, you know, to continue. You know, maybe she doesn't want to die. There is also that. Oh, oh no. Saz, you can't say, you can't tell me I'm abandoning you, then you abandon me, dude. Come on. Oh shit, there's a lot of these guys. We'll be fine. Maybe. He's very close to dying. I don't know if stagger means they can't attack. I don't really know what stagger means, but the game hasn't explained that mechanic yet. I think it will at some point. This game's pretty heavy on the uh, tutorialization, so. I can see it being a thing they're gonna introduce. Oh, no, 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 no. Going to die. If I die, we'll have to do a game over. Okay, good. We're fine. <laughs> oh, we're starting there, but we're good. Nice. It doesn't look like we can get um, staggered, though. It's quite good. Nice. Spoils. Very good. No spoils, but it's fine. <laughs> Hi. Seems to be in working order. Yeah, well, you apparently want to abandon me, so I don't know how I feel about you anymore. Maybe that, maybe Lightning was right. Let's try and get out of here. Okay, so the red circle probably means we won't be coming back here. So, yeah, okay, let's do this and activate. Yeah, because this game is going to be fairly linear, so I guess we need to have the red circles so you know we're actually progressing. I don't like that guy in the back over there. He looks powerful. Right, not our lucky day. No, I wouldn't say that it is. But I'd also say it's that. Too, right? Can't you like pull some strings or something? You can give it a go, I guess. Hey, I'm I'm a soldier. I've done soldiery things in the past, like being yeah. creepy right now and just walking around. Oh, look at this guy. Weapons down. I hate for this to turn ugly. Uh, turn ugly? I think he wants this to turn ugly. To kill us without a fight. Oh, damn. Okay, boss fight. Attack chain tutorial. Tutorial, yeah, okay. To initiate an attack chain, first at all battle, or attack from the ability menu, and choose the Psychicon Marauder as your target. See the bar beneath the target's name? That is known as a cane gauge. Keep an eye on the cane gauge as you strike. Okay. When you attack an enemy, its chain gauge fills. Hit home, and the percentage beneath increases. This percentage is called a chain bonus. The more time you hit an enemy, the more damage you'll take from subsequent attacks. Continue pummeling this Psychon Morder, boosting your chain bonus until the gauge is full. Okay. I'll, I'll get on that. Go on, Lightning, we got this. Nice, okay, now what? Once the gauge is full, one power blow a stack of your foe. A stack of enemy takes great damage when attacked. Chaining attacks to stack of powerful adversaries is essential to defeating them. Be aware, however, that an enemy's chain gauge begins to train the moment it is staggered. Once the gauge is empty, the enemy will no longer be staggered. Okay. Understood. 
Ah, and they also appear yellow in the map too. Oh, but you also increase the cycle by just hitting them. Okay, that's good. Poor guy. Well, they did, didn't do that time though, apparently. Ow! Okay, so you can still hurt me. Not cool, guys. Not cool. There you go, Lightning. You did it. It was nothing, basically. Whack, whack! We did it! Teamwork makes the dream work. Credit chip. Okay. So, soldier. What's your angle? I don't know, live. What? Classified military info? Huh? What's the matter? You quit, didn't you? Did you think I'm gonna go out there and just tell everybody oh, your secret? Huh? My angle. I'm after the foul sea. Who's the foul sea? I don't even know what that is. You have to like their, their leader, I guess. The person who's like co coordinating the pulse. Look at this thing, it's very cool looking. Still happy you tagged along. Help me, we can do it together. I have a choice. What are you talking about? You have to let your chocobo live in the world where it's not dangerous. Where it's not bad. Where you two can just, I don't know, enjoy breadcrumbs together. Ah yes, peace. This is what peace looks like right now. So Cocoon is the name of this like whole place then. Interesting name. Cocoon would imply that it's gonna become something else. Migration. More like extermination. Huge. <laughs> you stay here. Snow. So sorry. I didn't mean to. These people need heroes. Yeah, we'll be heroes yeah. right here. You keep your cool, and they will too. You got it? They, are they with um lightning, maybe? What's our motto? The army's no match for Nora. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so young. We bring kids into the battlefield. The resistance front. Hanging Edge. I mean, yeah, I, I assume we are still in Hanging Edge. Oh, here we go. We are playing as this new character, Snow, who is, you know, a similar name to light Lightning when it comes to elements and stuff. Hey! It's over. It's all over. Wild Bear level one. Okay, is that his weapon, I guess? And a credit chip. Currently used by military munition. Can be sold for a premium. Oh, nice, we got money now. Oh my lord. Okay, more wife. That's a lot of lore. Right, events. Chapter one. Another rebellion. The peaceful citizens of Cocoon live in constant fear of invasion by the forces of Pulse. The world below and supposed home of terrors unknown, where even a single pulsed agent to be discovered in a cocoon, panic and civil unrest would be sure to follow, threatening the very fabric of society. Uh, to prevent such a calamity, the Sanctum, Cocoon's governing body, initiates the Purge, a government initiative officially entailing the deportment of all those who may have come into contact with corrupting Pulsian influences. Okay. 
However, the Sanctum army is now brutally slaughtering the civilians they were supposed to be deporting. Realizing that the Poles is nothing more than a massacre in disguise, Snow leads the young freedom fighters of Nora in an effort to protect the purged deportees from the Sanctum soldiers. Why though? Why are they purging them? What, are they scared that because they're on a floating island they won't have enough resources maybe? Interesting. The 13th day, day 13, exile. A fallacy of pulse, pulse origin was discovered within a vestige on the outskirts of Bolden. Two days previously, having apparently spent centuries in hibernation with humans and the wiser to its presence, the Sanctum deemed the risk potential contamination by pulse magic a risk too great to overlook, and immediately enacted legislation permitting the purge. And a voluntary removal of the fallacy and the entire population of Bowden from Cocoon. The porties were told only that they would be transported to Pulse. So the one that Lightning's after right now is the fallacy, or it's like Pulse fallacy. So that is means she's going for the good guys then in this case. Why is she doing that then? Okay, Pulse. Resting in Cocoon's shadow, the sprawling and enigmatic lower world of Pulse is home to a multitude of terrors. The land is commonly believed to be an hospital to human life, and a strict ban on interworld travel forbids the citizens of Cocoon from venturing there to challenge this hypothesis. Not even members of the Sanctum's upper echelon can claim to have seen the surface with their own eyes, but the attempted invasion by the World Savage Army several centuries ago is well documented. Widespread fear of repeated assault persists among the populace even today, with colloquial references often likening the world to a manner of living hell. That's why he described it, he described it as hell without the brimstone, right? Cocoon. From her lofty seat, the world of Cocoon has long enjoyed tranquility. The interior of her spherical sphere of shell Support several sprawling cities and a population numbering in the tens of millions. Over a variety of dangerous beasts prowl the wilds. Advanced technology and the protection of the world's foul sea keepers ensure a residence a peaceful and prosperous existence. Travel to the lower world of Pulse is forbidden, but given their deep seated cultural fears of the place, the human citizens will not even think to venture beyond the paradise they know. Hmm, well. Considering what's happened, I don't think they, they, they don't think it's a paradise anymore, do they? The Hanging City, a relic of days bef before the War of Transgression. The Hanging Edge is located near Cocoon's Outer Rim. The area was once a thriving urban center. The residents were forced to abandon the location when an attack by Pulsian forces cracked Cocoon's shell during the conflict several centuries past. It was since designated a restricted zone, and the civilian access prohibited soon became nothing more than a name on local maps. Interesting. Okay, more lore, let's do this, shall we? The Sanctum. <laughs> Who's this old man? <laughs> Cocoon Central Government, the Sanctum, holds supreme ex executive, legislative, and judicial power. It also maintains directive authority over the military. Despite the fact that Cocoon was built by the Foul Sea, and not by humans, Fallacy opt to participate only superficially in government's governmental affairs, leaving Cocoon's administration entirely the discretion of the human sanctum, and its Primark, P Primark, like the shop, Gallant Disley. I don't think it's Gallant, I don't think it's Gallant Disley, I think it's Gallant Dysler. Maybe, yeah, Dysler, I would say. The Purge. Oh, she's, The Purge. To the millions who call Cocoon home, the lower world of Pulse represents a constant source of fear. Suspected association with Pulse means stigmatization as an enemy of the state and all mankind. Even for born and raised citizens of Cocoon, the recent discoveries of a foul sea from Pulse near the city of Bod Bodum caused widespread civil arrest. After placing the city's entire population under quarantine, Due to the possibility of contamination, the Sanctum then announced its intent to forcibly relocate the affected to Pulse in an emergency measure dubbed by authorities as the Purge. So they're not actually killing people, they're only killing people who resist. But they are sending them down to uh, the po uh, Pulse. 
Nora. The paramilitary organization known as Nora is a group composed of like-minded youths. Assembled by Snow and South funded by the operation of a seaside cafe in Bodum. South funded by a seaside cafe in Bodum. Okay. Functioning as a neighboring watch of sorts, Nora members patrol the vicinity of Bodum and full patrol. Most often, trouble consists of encroachment by dangerous forms of wildlife. Nora had never openly acted out against the Septum prior to the purge, and because of this, the military had been content to turn a blind eye to the group's activities. Okay. Well, that was more lore. Okay, now I'll check how this works now. So we may not be going for a pulse uh, fallacy, but a different one instead. And yeah, here's the marauder here. <laughs> I can't get over these these profile pics. They look like they're taking a selfie. <laughs> oh yeah, it's me. Hey, um. Oh lord, yeah. Give me this. We didn't do anything wrong. I mean, no, that's how a purge works, I guess. Sort of random and. Well, it's not random, it's because there was a foul sea here, apparently. I want to die. <laughs> just gonna die anyway. I don't want to die. Well, there's the sounds of a true resistance fighter right there. I show you a little profile pick in the in the top in the in the bottom right. That's cool. Sorry, kid. There's no home anymore. Just war. Whoa, 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 whoa dude. And I'm, I'm we're not done here yet. Oh, I guess we are. Okay, let's go. This red-haired man looks like um Wacker. This is crazy. Then take a nap. Really? Can I? What? Sure. And when we're taking a dirt nap, you can save them all. No, oh, that's even worse. No dirt naps today. We're all in this together. Our enemies, the Cocoon Sanctum. The dreaded Psycom, no less. What's the dread? Psycom's nothing but a whole bunch of bluster and bullying. Ah, we have an ego, do we? Well, we are the heroes. After didn't you? All. Didn't they say that you were getting funded <sighs> by a seaside cafe? Yeah. I don't know how I feel about that after finding out that information. Oh, more day already. So oh, we'll be out of this. Oh, that's a hell of a pie we have right now. Wrapped up and ready. <laughs> oh, he's a boy, he's a monk. Okay, good. Wait, he's also got hand grenades. <laughs> hand grenade out. Right. Done. That was an anti climatic ending. Right, team. We better get our heads in the game here. Discount Wacker, come with me. I need your help or something. He does seem to look, look a lot like a Wacker, which is funny because considering this is FF13. There's been two Fantasy games since. Oh, Thanks you've murdered all these men. They had families. They have kids, you monsters. Climatic when they just kill the enemies and they turn the dust afterwards. Like that, for example. <laughs> I'm just standing there for like 20 seconds afterwards wondering, wait, am I going for an attack or not? No. No, I'm not. Ah, uh, no more. <sighs> Those are, uh, the, yeah, these are the words of a true resistance group. Yo, boss. What's the plan? Charge in, guns blazing. Hey, that's not a plan. 
Real heroes don't need plans. <laughs> I feel like reality is going to be a painful wake up for this group. Punch this dog in the face. Yeah, punch. It's not a lot of damage, to be honest, but we are in a group, so you know what might, might, might work out. Nice. Oh, no, 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 no. Use attack. There you go. Okay, I'm glad that if I don't hit the target, if the target I'm going for dies, I can go for the next one. Oh, he sinks it into the next one. That's good. Okay, there we go. You can kind of tell by this point in Final Fantasy, they were quite trying to find a way to streamline the turn-based mechanics as much as possible. Like, I don't know if they took a page out of Xenoblade Chronicles book, but in that game, you don't really have turn-based combat. It's more so you have a number of attacks you automatically do, and you'll do them when you can you can chain in actual abilities as well. Which kind of feels like how this game is doing it, but there's much more emphasis on the auto like chaining of attacks and commands. Hit him hard, and hit him again. Two <laughs> 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 fucking hand grenades. <laughs> okay, that is an AOE move. It does hit him a few more. I thought I did. That's more of a less you're you're hyping yourselves out to be heroes. That sounds like you actually care about the people now. <laughs> right. Look at look at this, please. Look at look at Wacko there, and like you know, <laughs> look at it feels like a discount for King F of Ten team. <laughs> A twist on oh no, yeah, a twisted fang that seems to pulse here with diabolic power. We've got two of those apparently, okay. Cocoon Society. Psychon. The Sanctum Military is composed of two main branches. The Guardian Corps, responsible for maintaining security in various jurisdictions throughout Cocoon, and Psychon, Public Security and Intelligence Command. Psycon is an elite special operations unit charged with protecting Cocoon from Pulsian incursion. In contrast to the lightly armored Guardian Corps, Psycon employs an array of advanced he high heavy weaponry and cruiser craft airships, as Psycon bears the responsibility for any and all effects of Pulse Origin. It was Psycon who conducted the purge. Oh, so they're assholes then. Good to know. I don't feel I didn't feel anything bad about them anyway, but I'll keep killing them, it's fine. I want a map back. Don't you kids go follow behind her? <laughs> well, I'm about to punch that guy in the face. Poacher, nice. I'll use those at some point. Oh, look at all these people over here. Hey, guys. You are the people we are fighting for. You are the voice that needs to be heard. Oh, well, this looks kind of painful for them. Time for a motivational speech. You all okay? <laughs> Come on, for one second, could we just be a competent resistance group? Don't worry. No one's moving to Pulse today. We'll clear you a path out of here, so be ready Wait, to- Wait! Let me fight yeah, with you! you can't expect us to just sit here! <laughs> there you go. Help. Yep. Please! 
Let us help. Oh. Okay then. Volunteers front and center. Hey, come on over here. Take this one. Take, take all the guns and help us fight. But come, don't be the voice. Be the gun. Count me in. Here's yours. Who is this cat who is slightly more bended than everyone else? Mom? Don't worry. Mom? Huh? So I just Where are you said, going, mum? It's good. Yeah, uh, nice. Can you show me again? Uh, you got that's it. That's how it works. But you've got a child. Sure. Yeah. Moms are tough. <laughs> okay, a man wrote right. that dialogue. That's <laughs> the last one, boss. Who else wants to die? All right, last one. Somebody take it. They don't have to. They can choose not to, dude. Uh, yeah. Who's this? Wish kept a shove. Keep him safe. Even there's a burnout expectations with these. First impression of snow. All told. Oh. <laughs> what? All right, lay low. Who said that? Fine. Did you say that in her head? Oh wow, well, here they all come. We're going home together! Yeah! Resistance! Come on! Everybody up! Uh, I guess we won't die here. I guess we'll go somewhere else right. to die. New recruits! On me! I mean to be fair, they're not doing a bad job of doing it with this. They got like the gang people to come, they're being good. This mother is fucking dead. <laughs> If she was a Disney mother, she would already be gone for this child's life, but she, they are having, having this team, scene where she's looking back at her. That kid has a name. She doesn't. She's gone. She's already been buried, basically. We're not Jason. losing the sidecom, you hear me? This will be a piece of cake. It's not, not over till it's over. Yeah, that, that is something that you just said. Wait, it updates whenever you get a new potion? Hmm, don't know why it does that. That's not fun. Well, as a walk, click, walk, click on um, old items then, huh? Right. The Warport Path Home. The Purge is a sanctum initiative designed to protect the stability of Cocoon by forcing potentially dangerous civilians to relocate the pulse. However, the relocation is simply a facade to cover the massacre of that in short. I've never read this before. Haven't we? <laughs> the government's true goal is the brutal extermination of all possible threats to a peaceful society, hence creating more conflict, because you are killing people. Having discovered the horrific truth, Snow leads the members of Nora against the army soldiers of Sycon. Inspired by the actions of this handful of brave young men and women, the beleaguered citizens took heart and joined the mass battle, what well, most of them did, in hope of returning to a normal life. Among the citizens who stand against the forces of Sycon is a mother who wishes for nothing more than to protect her son. Hmm. I sense something bad is going to happen. I don't know what would give you that idea. There you go, you can have that. Stay sharp. The fact that I can't play as the other two characters suggests that there's some so bad is either going to happen to them or they're Don't purposely not easier. doing too much work for them because it's probably better just to put time on these two characters instead. Right, okay, let's do this. potions guys come on no 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 that's not what we do here if I'm taking damage let me deal with that not you oh no we only got four stars and we only got one potion bleh Bro, 
Back us up. Levro. <laughs> we need your help, Levro. You're the only one who can do this. Bad music. Oh, yeah. It's not like too forceful, not too uh, overbearing. This is perfect. There we go, then. Oh, I got right. something else there. I think this get a potion. We've got another iron bangle. Well, it's already equipped. Let's shake things up a little. Force. Put down the resistance. Yeah, murder them. We have no hearts, no souls. What was that thing? Doggy? Big doggy. Ste steroid doggy. <laughs> Heroes don't run from fights. Is that the only thing you say? Heroes never change. It's like a behemoth. Time to prove who the heroes are. It's a behemoth. Okay, <laughs> never mind. Oh my god, is that all you talk about, Snow? Just the fact you're here, you're a hero. Fade behemoth. I mean, this is the nicest way, and I'm sure I'll get more complicated later on. But the combat in this game reminds me of like a mobile game. <laughs> I'm not doing a whole lot. I'm just pressing like one button every like two seconds. And it's basically just auto attacking. It actually allows me to have a look at the visuals though during this, which is quite nice. Because the beta the actual models and this is really nice looking. How about this? I mean it's almost said, haven't really done a whole lot. Never mind! As soon as I say that. Get out of here! Why do you use a potion? We weren't even doing any damage, guys. Come on. Less time than most fights, to be honest. That was great. They have like infinite ammo. Ah! They run away, cowards. Heroes don't run away, so they're the villains. Oh. Oh yeah, there you go. No, we got trouble. Yeah, I'm well aware. I can see this. Stay down. Oh no, the mum. <laughs> the mum. Go back and get it. You just gonna stand there and die? Oh no, we prepared the big laser for you. Oh, nice. Mums are better than you think. I told you, didn't I? Mums are tough. Wow. I mean, he went through pregnancy and birth, so yeah, you know what? I don't, I don't blame her. <laughs> wow, she didn't even get us to five another second. She got her line and died. <laughs> no! Mum! Mummy! She could be fine. She only got launched a little bit forward. She's not dead. But I thought heroes don't lose. Oh my god, that's terrible. Oh, you know, it's nice knowing these two characters. I mean, he had a very cool design, but it's time for him to go. Get him home. Please. Why let you go? We just we can just get you back up. <laughs> Mums are tough! Mums don't die! Good if you if you're so tough you would have climbed back up oh, off me. Oh well there she goes. <laughs> Mum! Wow, she <laughs> 
Yeah. It's not really your fault, to be fair, Snow. Oh, you about to die as well? Oh, well, there we go. It's okay. I don't know if it is, actually. Uh, Come on! Yeah, time to go. My name is Vanilla. Vanilla Ice. We have to run. <laughs> Slapped her him. The kid scored hope, of course, because they hope for a world of peace. I think him saying we're the heroes was meant to be used as irony for that one scene that just happened. Meanwhile, lightning. She didn't even get a name, she was just called Mother. <laughs> it's an out and out massacre. Most people won't even live long enough to die on pulse. That was the idea. What? Oh, it's not about getting rid of the pulse. They conjured up the courage to eliminate a threat. Hmm. Makes sense. I mean, why carry the danger all the way to Pulse? Why not just stamp it out here? Execution masquerading as exile. That's all the Purge ever was. Yeah, I mean, it's not that hard to work out, dude. Relocation to Pulse. How does the government get away with pulling crap? Yeah, that's the like line that's very helpful. And you, you knew this was gonna happen? The Purge was Psycom. Private Sanctum troops, not the Guardian Corps. So Psycom, he was part of the Guardian Corps then. Guardian Corps. Soldiers are soldiers, aren't they? How would you do? You're not a soldier. You Pope don't know what you've been through. And their Lassie, our enemies of the state. Tell a soldier to kill an enemy, and you really think it's gonna matter what uniform he's wearing? Might have mattered to that one. Couldn't shoot. Got himself shot instead. How about you? Hmm. Huh? Or to say shoot, you pull the trigger? Fine. Forget I asked. It's not wrong, to be fair. What? What's happening? The hell is this thing? It's got like one like goody good arm and a shield. Oh, well, here we go. Mer mer Mermidon. Mermidon. You know, just classic old Mermidon. I mean, what do you think was gonna happen, Miley? We're, we're still, like, not in the clear yet. They know what happened here. I would assume. Like, they probably didn't get a radio message saying everything was good, and they decided, hmm, maybe we should go here. Oh shit, Saz. Saz? Saz. 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 Don't die. There you go. He's a Saz. The main goal here is to get him to segregate, and we can actually do stuff. There we go. Sad, stop dying! Come on, dude. You're better than this. You die if you're in fault. Oh, you stole the kill for me, dude. Come on. Not cool. Considering how much you were struggling in there, too. We did it! A lot of sound effects in this. I think we're kind of with a 14. <laughs> What's that? I've heard them a lot. <laughs> huh? The kind of Attention, Purge deportees. Attention, Purge deportees. What's happening? Put down your weapons and surrender immediately. Your removal is the will of the people of Kaboom. Should you attempt to flee, the sanctum will employ every resource necessary. What the hell is this thing? Oh, at least Snow's okay. Sarah. Oh, is that what it's called? Sarah. Like a, is it like a nuke or something? Just what you were looking for. Yeah. Right in there. The post file C. Oh. Uh, the 
this thing's the reason my mum died. Don't worry. We'll be okay. Well, she had that sort of what? comfort, young Alpha now. <sighs> oh, don't strip me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hi. Here. Have a gun. Uh, I don't know how to use a gun. Uh, oh. It's too much, isn't it? I mean, he literally does watch his mother die, yes. Face it later. It's easy for you to say. Ciao! What? <laughs> Who the fuck is this? Wait! I'm going to leave and be whimsical in a moment when I should not be whimsical. You said it made you happy when I smiled, didn't you? But really... I was afraid. I was always afraid. Is this her talking? Yeah, how are we going to get to that, though? So, how do you figure that post file scene is different from the Sanctums? Mm. All things being equal, I just as soon keep one. <gasps> Tokaba! Time to jump. Yeah, no. Hey, hey! <laughs> hey! I don't know if I have the same anime powers as you. Hey! Don't leave him behind. Oh, okay, Andy, grab, okay. Damn. She can do it, so can we. No, I don't think you can. Oh, don't do it that way. <laughs> Oh god, and he died. He like, he like went down there as slowly as possible and as dangerously as possible as well. Come on, uh, come on. Uh, <laughs> all the important characters died. No, all the not important characters died is what I meant to say. What about the others? Uh, only heroes live. They didn't die. They couldn't have died. I mean, look at look around you. Of course not. <sighs> oh. Hey, get a grip, man. What's wrong with you? You expect it to be easier? Get him home. Get who home? You know, you know who, who he was. I mean, she was called a mother. She did say that two times, dude. Saying that though, yeah, we didn't Don't actually. He didn't say which kid it was and what his name was. I guess we can Gosh. try to work it out, consider what a mother looked like. What are you doing? What are you doing? So what are you afraid of, huh? You're supposed to be the hero. Are you pointing a gun at me? <laughs> She's waiting there, ain't she? Your lovely bride to be. Isn't it about time you picked her up? Oh, does she know lightning? Will he know lightning? Yeah. I mean, snow, lightning, it makes sense. <laughs> There's our ride. <laughs> Now you're talking. Hmm. Let's go over there then, shall we? Just casually stop there, huh? How could they? I mean, I don't know. Let's think for a second, shall we, Snow? They are purposely trying to decimate people and kill them to try and do something. And we fought back, so they had every reason to do it. So, yeah. Unfortunately, this is just the way it is in Love and War. Let's have a look at this, shall we? Events! Chapter 1. Oh, there's two things to look at. Wonderful. Fallen Innocence. Raccoon citizens have always been terrified of Pulse and the mysterious horrors that are said to stalk its hostile wastelands. Their fear is so great that if a Cocoon native were to have even the briefest contact with pulsing elements, 
former friends and neighbours were considered them corrupted and dangerous. What on a physical sense or mental sense? In light of the fact, this fact, the Sanctum orders the purging of Bodom in an effort to remove all potentially pulse-tainted civilians or civilians. Accordingly, soldiers round up all those identified as candidates for relocation and inform them of their impending exile. However, Psychon, the elite arm of the Sanctum military, then began massacre the helpless civilians. This prompts So to lead the people in a rebellion against the army. Tragically, one of the civilians who decided to follow him, hoping to protect her son, dies in the act of saving Snow's life. Not even five minutes after that happens, too, by the way. <laughs> it's stupid as hell. From afar, the boy witnesses the moment of his mother's death in shock and disbelief. Definitely in shock. And definitely just disbelief. She left, not protecting her son, and then died, not protecting her son. <laughs> Massive object is transported through the sky over the hanging edge. This object is a pulse vestige, a lower world artifact that had been nothing more than a Bowden landmark. Two days ago, it was discovered that the vestige housed a long dormant pulse fallacy. The fallacy had slumbered undisturbed in the outskirts of a cocoon city for centuries. The standard requires that the presence of the pulse entity and its corrupting magics have tainted the entire population of the city and orders the purge. But you're the ones who put it there, so it's kind of your own fault. For different reasons, Lightning and Sass have now made their way towards the very being that was the catalyst for so much tragedy. Snow, meanwhile, is crushed by feelings of guilt after many die under his command. He only emerges from his gloom when Gado reminds him that the foul sea is holding a certain young lady captive who needs her hero now more than ever. Oh, it's so not Lightning then, okay. I thought it was, I, just, I wonder if the two plotlines were going to coalesce at some point, but I guess not. They're just doing this for their own goals. The Falsi. The Falsi are an existence beyond human comprehension, possessed of incredible magic power. The ones responsible for Cocoon's construction are protectors of humanity, but there are others of their kind as well. The Falsi who dwell on Pulse and name themselves enemies of Cocoon. Uh, and hu humans who encounter Pulse Falsi are cursed, being turned to Ice Eye, in order to destroy Cocoon. It is for that reason that most ordinary citizens support the Perch. Anyone who may have come into contact with one of the Falsi represents a dire threat. So manipulation then, brainwashing, okay I understand. Bioweapons. The Sanctum had developed a vast arsenal of weaponry to defend against the constant threat of Purge, and these living weapons are one of the many fruits this research has borne. Ordinary Cocoon uh, wildlife transformed into efficient killing machinery through selective. a little bit. a little bit. metallic though, right? Intense training and physical augment. okay. Bioweapons retain all the raw power and feral fury of their natural counterparts while obeying the commands of their handlers of unwavering loyalty. I guess GMOs are not a thing in this world. AMP Technology Antimatter Manipulation Principle AMP, forms the foundation for a variety of technological, technological wonders, enabling phenomena ranging from face, space interference to the manipulation of gravitational force. Humans ordinarily lack the means to wield magic, but through the use of mana drives, another product of the, effect of the principle, it is possible to synthesize its effects. Okay, that's how Lightning did our jumps then. Okay, understood. And then new enemies we have... Tilters, <laughs> sure, and then Behemoths, they got a bear behemoth, look at this boy, big old chunky boy, lovely. Let's go dude. I hope everyone's all right. No, they're, they're all dead. Unless you mean to put people in a resistance group, then Stay I don't know, maybe. Ain't gonna stop us. Power circlet. Oh, we got a new weapon too. And increases our strength but lowers our magic. Well, yeah. We, we're a melee, we're a melee attacker. We would need more strength, to be fair. <laughs> what is he doing? Are you just running towards them? No. Well, now you are. Okay, well, I'm coming to help. He just left me behind. He went to go do his own thing. Oh, that's a lot of bad guys, huh? <laughs> Maybe a little bit spicy. 
We'll be fine, maybe. We're getting a good stack of damage right now, to be fair. Oh, yeah, we're fine. I was worried it'd be too much, but no, we're doing a pretty good job here. I mean, like, we've still got more than half HP, so I don't know. Yeah, we're fine. Gather is getting a little bit low, though. I mean, he, he pointed a gun at me, so I don't really care, but yeah. I like that he pointed a gun at me and was like, oh, that you lost your flying spirit, so I'll just shoot you. But then it was like, nah, actually, you know, I want you to stay here, my friend. Come back for me. Why are you just leaving me, leaving me behind? You know, don't go rushing in on your own. Yeah. You don't end up dying that way. 100 gil? That's it, like robbery. <laughs> now it's not the time to be laughing. People have died. <laughs> I want every weapon ready to fire. Stay sharp. All right, on my go. Right. Go! <laughs> PM to strike, yeah! Was that actually a PM to strike? No. This is a regular old battle. Okay, I see. What are you doing going for me? So I'm called for, dude. I'm just here trying to be a hero. I need to kill you all. Psycho and Warden? Oh, you're gonna have to ward off some death in a minute. There you go. <laughs> they were so powerful for these guys. That's great. 33 seconds. And the game was like, no, you could do better than that. What is this? Oh, that's a sad sound. Where's the soul? Yes, these, these two jesters were just laughing it off while people have died. Okay. Hey, Godot. Yeah? If you don't know who you've got to save, you just protect them all, right? That sounds like a bad idea something on your mind you got plenty of time for thinking on the way hero <laughs> you, you need to do something to actually become a hero dude you can't just yeah. like start a seaside cafe resistance group and then be like oh I'm a hero now you become a hero after the fact not drawing the fact Otherwise, he just come off as like a pretentious prick <laughs> <laughs> Look at this girl and our cool bikes. I know I have no investment in this and it's like I get to ride them. Hey, it's us! It's oh, us. they all survived, so the main character survived. Very good. Don't shoot! Snow! <laughs> Since when do you care about kids? Pay before a friend. Okay. Friend you knew for five seconds who hey, saved your snow. life. You made it! Hey! Yeah. So, hey. you really managed to use that thing? <laughs> nah, I think I'm done. You're done when we are. Ow, what's it? <laughs> That's the kid. That's the one. <sighs> Didn't you have something to tell him? Yeah, you're the reason why my, yeah. my mother died. All right then. But I. I'll go with you. How supportive. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Ew! Oh, you have no idea what it was like. Oh. Everyone say. Um, what are you talking about? <laughs> the, the army's no match for Nora. We can. And then the kids. <laughs> you can't be doing this right now. <laughs> All accounted for. Okay. <laughs> what is this tonal whiplash? People were just like falling to, into to, to their deaths like two right. seconds ago. We're having like a laugh right now. Oh, 
Yeah, go and tell him. They're a lot older than I thought they were gonna be. I'll swing by the vestige. Keep the kids out of trouble. You got it. Say hi to the missus for me. <laughs> you go skirt chasing, I take care of the Whoa. kids. Some husband. <laughs> Dinner's on me. Better be home cooking. When's the wedding, <laughs> lover boy? <laughs> well, don't worry, none of you are invited. We're still going. Hey, are you serious? What about me? Look Catch at this later. group banter, which is happening right now. Well, we give it our best shot, and they have to dwell on those feelings that you have until they fester into hatred. Hey. Oh, wait, we're a kid now. <laughs> I mean, it's not your fault that they, well, they left prematurely. Dirty. And then there's the sink. Oh. Okay, let's have a look at the um the selfies the characters took for their profile pics, shall we? I think his is the most chill one so far, to be honest. <laughs> right, okay. Dialogue. Events. Chapter 1. Into the vestige. Snow still could not shake his feelings of guilt, despite his efforts to protect the purge, the portees from the Sanctum forces, many have fallen. The death of one woman in particular haunts his thoughts. A, woman, a mother fighting for the sake of her son, who gave her life to save Snow. In the moments before her death, the woman begged the leader of Nora to take care of her child. A slip from Snow's grasp without revealing the boy's identity. Who, considering that it's the kid, it probably looks similar to her mother. Maybe, I don't know. With Gado's help, Snow breaks out of his depression. He figures that, yeah, breaks out of his depression by aiming a gun at his head. Sure, okay. He figures that he just goes ahead and protects everyone, and the woman's son will be saved as well. Logic! <laughs> After checking to see if the children were safe, Snow leaves the waning battle to his fellow Nora members. Oh, you know, he, he didn't, didn't care about them. He's like, oh, I care so much, I'm gonna put in the least amount of effort to make sure that they're okay. And just be like, as long as they're all okay, then this one will definitely be okay and has not died at all. His fiance is still held captive by the Pulse Falsae. A boy watches, watches him leave, eyes filled with rage and loathing. To his grief stricken mind, Snow is responsible for, yeah, I, I assume so, yeah. Bearing. Okay, interesting. Oh, it's his weapon. Okay. I got some angry things to say to you. I'll get you all some I don't want to go somewhere, play safe. I want to go somewhere dangerous. Stop running around, kid. To do. <laughs> they all, they all fell. Psycom's nothing. Honey, where are you? What are we supposed Please, to do? Please, everybody keep calm. Fear. I will permit it to pass Change over. What's done, just have to survive. No one's getting purged. Honey, where are you? Stay with your God. Round you can carry. We'll get you all some poison. We better. <laughs> yeah, let's use the, the shop. There we go. Wonderful. Can't go any farther. <sighs> we can't ride it. We don't know how, do we? Okay. I want to tell him. It's just that. Uh... Oh, what's happening right now? No need for like two seconds. Hey, you know how to fly this? No, he's a kid. How would he yeah. know how to fly this? What? I think so. All right. When? <laughs> oh, you know they give kids driving licenses like like thirteen in this world apparently. <laughs> that way. 
You know, this game that's meant to be about lightning has not had a lot of lightning in it so far. No, no. Huh? Oh, what's what's on? Go in there. That thing could. It could make us let's see. Oh. True. This is. I don't think I can. You can do it. Uh. What are you two doing? Uh. Oh shit! Here we go. Man, just get out of here. Wow. Good job, guys. You just let these two kids run off of this thing. Yeah, for one job. Uh oh. Oh no! This crashes. Oh, no, we didn't save all of them. You hear me? If we don't save all of them, we can't save the one. The pulse fell sea. It held our future and our fate. What's this accent? 